Dave here at Russo's RV Center in Lakeville, Massachusetts on a cold, windy day. Looking at the 2023 Rockwood 2614 BS Ultralight. This unit is 29 feet 9 inches long from the tip of the hitch to the bumper. It is 8 feet wide, two doors, front bedroom slide. That's where the BS in the name comes from. And the main slide with the dinette and the theater seat in the middle. The back is the kitchen, so it's a rear kitchen model. Bathroom in the middle. Outside kitchen. Let's take a look around the outside because it is cold and I want to go inside. <laughs> so let's take a look. Front windshield, standard, automotive grade. Two 30 pound bottles, front power jack. If you've seen my videos before, this is going to sound uh, very similar to some past ones because the Rockwoods have a lot of the same standard features. Two battery box, at least room for two batteries. The dealer's going to install a battery for you, or if you have your own you want installed, let them know. But batteries do not come standard from the factory unless a unit were to come with the power package from Rockwood. But the power package is only on a few select models in the Geo Pro and Mini Light line. So not available on the Ultralight, at least not yet power um, stabilizers standard on the ultralight you can see the toppers not standard but we always get them if you see a unit for sale uh, without the toppers at a dealer I would um, just make note of that because when a dealer installs toppers if you want them it's gonna be about double what it costs from the factory so keep that in mind we always get our units in stock with the toppers whenever possible. This particular unit with the options it has came in at 69.63. That's the dry weight. And as mentioned, 29 feet, nine inches. Let's just check out the gross weight. So in this particular model, 85.96. Gross is gonna be um, dry weight plus the carrying capacity on this model and any model. Outside storage. This is going to be your main storage area on this unit. This is underneath the bedroom. This is underneath the bed, I should say, the queen bed. That's your griddle that mounts on the other side and the bag with a 50 amp power cord. Small space in between. I really wish that they put like the outside shower there. I think that'd be a cool space for it, but it's okay. What they did do is they put uh, your main outlet for your gray and black tanks right there so you can access them. You don't have to crawl under a slide room. Good thinking Rockwood. I think that was uh, very clever of them to do that. As we're walking, you see these are the, this is the white exterior with the graphics. Here's the, the business corner. 50 amp outlet in the back. Six gallon gas electric water heater. If you wanna get access to the water pump and the filter, it's behind that panel. You just have to unscrew two screws potable water fill on the top and this is you've seen this many times before if you've seen other videos or other rockwoods city water in the left corner antifreeze on the right and the all-important black tank flush on the top remember folks if you're going to be using that black tank um, you definitely want the black uh, tank valve open this is actually a gray tank uh, for the kitchen sink. This is just for the rear kitchen sink. So it does have two outlets, two separate gray tanks. But once again, the bathroom uh, tank flush. When you have a hose with water pressure on, you definitely want to um, have that valve open. You don't, do not want pressure to build. Rear ladder, walkable roof. Spare, underneath the spare though, is the receiver, two inch, 300 pound rated exhaust for the heater and outside shower in the rear corner. In addition to the outside shower, they're on the other side of the kitchen, which we're gonna look at in a second, is this spray port with a hose, a nozzle. So a little bit more um, versatile, I should say, for rinsing things off in lieu of the outside shower, or in addition to the outside shower. Goodyear tires, torsion Torflex ax axles, just makes for a smoother ride. Two burner cooktop in the outside kitchen. 
gas line hooks up underneath. An electric refrigerator. Well, I always pick the wrong side when I do that. No matter what, I always pick the wrong side. Decent size. A little ice box in the top as well. For your juice boxes and so forth. Never gonna never gonna be sad when there's more storage on a unit. So this one does have a little bit of storage space in the kitchen and an outlet. Good job, Rockwood. And the griddle will go next to it, so makes sense. You have your area, your outside kitchen area for those folks that like to cook outside or spending most of your time outside, especially when the weather's beautiful uh, on a day like today. But most days when you're camping, hopefully it's beautiful and you can enjoy the outside with the speakers, listen to your favorite music and the awning goes out eight feet. And with the, the white exterior, the LED light really bounces nice off of that at night. All right, let's go check out the inside. Sitting across from the theater seat, electric fireplace, which is really a, just a nice space heater. Large television and sound bar. One of the key features of this unit is the bed slide. And when the bed slides out, it gives you a lot more space in the bedroom. Medicine cabinet underneath the sink. And that would be a great place for like a little garbage can or you know, like a little clothes hamper tucked away under there. This 2614 has a lot of storage space. Got the dinettes, those drawers, under the sink and above the sink. And this is it, this is a spacious cabinet above the sink. Next to the entry door, there's three drawers. And above that, pantry space. Those go, those go pretty deep too. I was really impressed, this is kind of amazing. Behind the TV, that is a deep storage area. And then above the TV, there's a huge storage space. Rare to see that kind of room. Like I can't even reach to the end it's uh it's gotta be it's gotta be a, almost three feet deep that storage space at least two and a half in the bedroom wardrobe large wardrobe two big drawers Two additional large drawers underneath the bed. Let's slide out. There's your outside storage space. Above the bed, those open up. And there's even a little bit tucked away here. And right on the other side. Not a shortage of storage in this model. Let's bring the slides in, see what it's like.
with the slide rooms in, there is definitely no access to the bathroom. No way to get in there. There is a door to the bedroom, but you really should not be um, putting weight on the slide room. So like going on the bed or even going on the, the seats with the slides closed. It's just not built for that. You really want the slides out before you're putting any weight on them. So you can't really use the bed when the slides are in either. The only thing you can do other than access like some of the storage space in the back is get to the refrigerator. If you want to get to the fridge, great. You can get to the fridge from the rear entry door and it's a 12 volt fridge. You can run it all the time when you're traveling. But yeah, other than that, um, no bathroom access, no bed access. So just keep that in mind if that's a high priority for you. For a lot of people, it's not a big deal, but uh, something you're thinking about as you're making your purchase, good to know. All right, this 2614 is still in stock at Russo's RV Center in Lakeville, Mass. Check us out. Have a great day.